Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Black Ice Dragon here again with another unboxing video. Um, unfortunately, I already did the unboxing, but the video I recorded, it didn't quite turn out so right. I overloaded the encoder and the frame rates basically dropped nothing, but the audio was okay. So I kind of had to scrap that. I kind of put it back together as best as I could, so I could kind of show you guys kind of how you'll see it, even though it's not of the true version. So anyways, um... This is pretty much the box it comes in. There's actually another sort of cover that goes around here, but as you can see, it's actually a pretty heavy box. It's actually quite a bit of weight to it. I don't even have the statue in here. I have the statue actually sitting right over here because I kind of put it together already. Um, but I will show you everything that comes inside here again anyways. So as you can see, I said pretty big box, Overwatch. Got all the characters on this side. So if we slide this guy off, shell. Pretty heavy duty thing right there. Then we delve more into the actual box itself. So we open this guy up, flips right open there, and everything kind of looks like it. Fortunately, everything kind of fell out on me here, so I'll kind of go through everything, anyways. So, like with a lot of new collector's editions games, you do get the metal case, which actually really nice. Like, I love these metal, these cases that are coming with. It's the same one that actually came with Doom. And I actually have that one right here. So, same kind of idea, same kind of like metal, sort of aluminum casing kind of thing there. And, you know, pretty simple. Open up, you got your Overwatch CD, your key in there, and your, your claim. So, that's the case. Then, the other big thing you get in here is actually the visual source book. Now, I did take a, I take a quick gander at this. I didn't even know this was coming with the Collector's Edition, honestly. But this is a fantastic piece of work. Um, it's got all the characters on the front here, all done in sort of a... Oh, like, art, different kind of artistic style. I can't think of what it's called right now off the top of my head, but... Uh, if we kind of go through a little bit of this here, kind of show you, give you guys a little bit of visual. So, it's got a, kind of an overview of all the different heroes, with a whole bunch of different artwork, backstory, information on them. You know, different um, artwork and stuff like that for each character. How their abilities all work. Really, really cool piece of artwork. I really love that they came with this. This is... This definitely feels like a complete collector's edition, no doubt about it. And this was actually cheaper than the Doom Collector's Edition, and the Doom Collector's Edition literally just came with the case and the statue, and that was it. That was literally all there was to it. So, also in here, you get a bunch of guest passes for different, for Here's the Storm, Hearthstone, Starcraft, World of Warcraft. I think Blizzard's been doing that for a while, actually, in a lot of their games. Um, also get in there a bunch of postcards, actually, Overwatch postcards for different locations for the game. So that's pretty cool as well. And like any collector's edition, it's never complete without your soundtrack. So that's pretty much everything that came in with that box there. Kind of put all that back best I can. We'll set that out of the way. Normally, the other part that comes with that is sort of this box right here, which has your your statue in it. So pretty pretty standard box. Got some cool stuff: the seventy six soldier seventy six, that sort of thing. But like I said. I did the unboxing video and of course, unfortunately, it kind of screwed up on me, so I already pulled the statue out. But I've got that guy right here. It's actually really heavy duty. This thing's actually got quite a bit of weight, especially in the base, which gives it a really good sturdy, sturdy feeling. I kind of—it's kind of interesting that they went with all black on this. Like they didn't do any like orange and black or anything like that. I kind of was kind of surprised about that. But there's definitely a lot of detail, especially in like the firearm, the character, everything like that. So. That is the Soldier 76 statue. See, 76 in the back, of course. Nice base. And on the base, you've still got all of your... that around. Overwatch, Soldier 76, your Blizzard, all that stuff. All your kind of genuine logos on there. And that is pretty much it. So, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I spend most of my time on my Twitch feed, which I'll have a link for in the bottom of the video. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'm going to post more detailed pictures of 
the game and everything like that on Instagram there, so you guys can get a little bit more detail on that. And be sure to like and subscribe to the video. It helps, you know, so that I know I'm doing something right. And make sure to stop by the Twitch. Um, I'm on my Twitch channel. I mean, that's where I spend most of my time anyways. These videos are kind of just something I'm kind of playing a little more with. I don't normally do YouTube videos, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.